Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Iron Man's new raid bar for the LDV T60. I've got one, finally. And uh, we've color coded it. So she's not the standard black. They actually come uh, powder coat black. And we've also got a ton of lights on it. There's a spot for a winch. Anyway, let me get through it. Um, we've just been out on the dunes. So the thing is just full of sand and water. So I'll be taking all the plates off anyway to give it a good wash. But whilst I'm doing that, I'll show you what we're looking at with this bar. We're going to begin this one down at Morley Four Wheel Drive in West Australia. Especially from the outside, you can see that these guys are an Iron Man dealer, but they can also arrange fitting of all accessories, including custom builds, and they've got the dedicated workshop on site. Ugh, love a pair of traps. That's probably something we'll never see on the T60. Anyway, where was I? Ah oh yes, Morley Four Wheel Drive. If you are in Metro and you are looking at getting some mods done on your car, or you just need some advice, Go see Raz and the guys. Uh, I rate them, they're obviously on the channel, and they certainly helped me out a lot with getting this bar just how we wanted it. The guys put in a fair bit of effort and a couple of wiring harnesses, but they got this thing looking A1, exactly how we needed it. We're gonna remove the front bash plate first, just so we can see how it's all mounted under there for you guys. To remove it, we just need to pull out two 13 mil nuts and a series of four millimeter hex heads. All right, I really do like uh, taking everything apart after a, a good four wheel drive in the sand dunes to see where all the sand builds up. And I'll show you where it builds up on this bar. So the front plate's off, as you can see. And uh, yeah, there you go. So just under that front, that sits under like that. And uh, yeah, just there, bit of sand build up. So um, it's, it's fine, the whole thing's coated. It's not gonna rust away, but uh, just a spot to check for sand. All right, let's keep looking. So as you can see, the Iron Man mounting bracket actually mounts where the old crash bar sits right on the chassis and runs the whole way across, joining on the other side to completely replace that crash bar. Mine was definitely in need of replacing. Another thing whilst we're under here is the recovery points. And I love these ones versus the eBay ones I had previously because you can fit a full size 17 and a half thousand kilogram soft shackle. I'm never gonna use that much, but it can fit, so that's pretty cool. So now you know how it connects to the T60 and you've seen the recovery points, which are pretty damn nice. Let's talk about this bad boy right here. Big question answered here. It is 100% a winch bar. 12,000 pounds is what it can hold and you can see right there, nice clean spot to bolt your winch in. And of course, number plate, flick straight back down when not in use. Got pre-drilled mounting holes for spotties. We've obviously customized ours and a spot for a 32 inch light bar. Now I have been asked for a few different angles, so I'm gonna crack a cold one and sit back and check this bar out. What a bar. Anyway, we're losing the light, so that's gonna wrap up our video for today. I'm gonna to be using this one in a couple of weekends time up in the Murchison again. You'll remember my old video. It is in the sand. We're gonna be testing out that bar in anger, off-road, off-grid. Hopefully, everything will be fine. It'll be fine.